So thank you very much, um, everybody, for your presence. Um, today, I would like to uh, present briefly um, our work uh, as part of Clef Hype um, shared task done by myself and Professor Fatih Hassadet, which is implementing a hybrid statistical and detective deep neural approach for name it entity recognition in historical newspapers. So I will um, start with um, presenting our methodology, model description, data description. This is will be this will be followed by evaluation of our results and a brief discussion and our future work. Um, so as already said, actually we participate in NERC course grain sub task of NERC task, um, which includes the recognition and classification of entity mansions according to high level on historical newspapers in French as already said, as part of Hype Shared Task. Our methodology, so in our methodology, we, we our main features are basic features, which are token, post tag, and chain tags, other orthographic features, such as prefix, suffix, and character, um, character embeddings and co contextualized word embeddings provided by Hype team. So we, we considered three models as, as baselines, which, which are, a statistical model provided by Hype team as well, uh, augmented with orthographic features. A second model, which is an oral model, where, where we use um, only the, the model without using actually contextualized word embedding provided by Hype team or uh, nor attention mechanism. In the third model, we use the same neural model, but we use attention mechanism with it. And in our model, we use its a neural based model too that I will go through a little bit more in details later and where I use contextualized word embeddings too and attention mechanism. So here is the, the our baseline, the first model as baseline, which is CRF provided, I, I repeat, it's pr provided with uh, uh, by uh, Hype team. This is the global, our global neural model architecture where we use as input our data set word embeddings, and this is augmented by contextualized word embeddings provided by high team. We add some additional words embeddings, and all of these are concatenated to CNN extracted char features. So they are char features extracted from each word using a CNN model. We inject everything in two layers, which are two LSTM layers. The outputs of the two LSTM layers are inject are concatenated and everything is injected in at the end in a attention uh, layer and the tagging in the end is done by a CRF layer which is the same mechanism as the CRF, as the CRF model. Here is an example where I show how we extract um, the features from words. Um, words characters using a CNN to handle with overfitting during our experimentation. We try to reduce, we reduce actually our network's capacity. We applied, regular, we applied regularization, more specifically L2 regularization, and we use drop, dropout layers, of course. This is an overview of French corpus statistics. Here is uh, our proposed models results considering little sense of entities in this case, and we consider micro average in this case. So as we see, and try, I will try to go through very briefly through these tables, we see that our model, which is the fourth one, is performing better than the other ones in, um, in the log entity and prod and time entities, but the statistical model augmented by uh, orthographic features performance better than the other ones in on organization and person entities. Approximately the same results uh, with um, considering literal sense, but in this case we, uh, we consider macro average. So our model is always performing better than the other ones on log and present time um, entities. In 
um, considering metonymic sense of entities, but, and, but in this case, it's we are talking about micro and macro average. The the second and third models are performing better than the statistical one and and a little bit better than ours too. Actually, when we talk about strict F measure for the for the micro average. So to, to we, I will try to discuss very briefly our results. As we've already said, the use of contextualized word embeddings and attention mechanism, which is our model in this case, lead to higher F measure for log, prod, and time entities compared to all other models in both fuzzy and strict regimes. The statistical model of model with orthographic features performs better in both org and person entities, as we saw in our tables. Ordinary models perform better than the statistical model augmented with orthographic features in both regimes, and our model has higher scores than the two other new models, except the third one, as we saw in our tables. And the, the strength of the second and third models is, is that they perform better than the statistical model and very better, as, as said, than our proposed model on the org entity, which shows that these models, at least in this stage, were a little bit more able to generalize on uh, uh, general data, on test data, sorry. As a future work, we consider um, investigating the usefulness of adding additional features in the hybrid architecture, as we saw actually by analyzing or by trying to analyze um, our um, error analysis, we saw that the main part that made that the statistical model perform, performs better than the other models is these additional features, so we aim to use them in our neural model. We are aiming to use external resources such as ontologies and knowledge, and knowledge graphs such as common sense basis. We, we are aiming to apply multitask learning too, and the most important part of our future work will be applying explainability techniques. So, like, we try to, to whiten black box that we use so that to have a little bit more um, explanation of our results in the future. And so, to conclude, um, we presented a hybrid approach of, for NERC applied on historical newspapers. We used orthographic features related to word syntax. We used word and character embeddings, contextualized, contextualized ones and character embeddings extracted using a CNN uh, layer. And to, if we speak about the overall performance our results, our experiments with our model showed an improvement in the overall performance. Thank you very much for your attention.